shit. And there was nothing. The only difference it was that I had to wear a mask. That was it. There was no difference in security. There's no difference in how the airport functioned. There's no difference in anything. I didn't have to sign anything. I didn't have to answer any questions. I just had to wear a mask, and that was it. That was the only difference. Do you have the whole exemption thing over there where you can say, I don't wear a mask because I'm exempt on medical grounds? People over here have these um, lanyards with a card or, you know, card in your wallet. That's the whole thing over here now. That's what they're enforcing. You can't go anywhere without a mask. And if you're not wearing a mask, you've got to have one of these cards, which is bullshit. They can't enforce it, but they are, and people are, and people and just the citizens are enforced it, bro. The people wearing the mask have seen some crazy shit going on. And yeah, like, it oh. won't work. It won't work. Like they won't let me on the plane unless I have a mask. So like, it, it wouldn't matter if I had a card or not. Um, right. And they just wouldn't let me on the plane. Right. In order to get on the plane, I had to have a mask. Yeah. Um, and I didn't see anybody challenge that. And I wasn't about to challenge, like, I'm not trying to get arrested. Yeah. You know, I wanted to go visit my it. sister. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I hated it. I hated wearing that fucking mask. But I heard about a guy who had to, made, a, made a box of Pringles last for a full four hour flight. So he had his mask down. He was just like licking his Pringles and just eating them so he didn't have to wear the mask. What was a loophole, brother? It's funny because um, that was something that pissed me off was I was on a five-hour flight and they didn't serve food anymore. They don't serve food or drinks anymore. There's nothing. Oh, shit. You can bring your own, but yeah, I was expecting because I like to drink when I'm flying. And nothing. No food, no drinks. They stopped all that. Oh, it's all going to shit, brother. It's all going to shit, I think, yeah. Off grid and off system is as best as you can hope for now. We'll see how things pan out. But uh, yeah, the old grand sort you know, minimum. Like what do you make of all that? Do you think that's all just hocum pocum, or do you reckon there might be a bit of something to it? Oh, I think there's definitely something to it. There's definitely something to this Planet X theory, um, especially since I keep seeing it in dreams now. But um, Again, I think everything we see in the sky is 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 part of the game. I don't think space is real. I don't think planets are real. I don't think anything we see in the sky is real. I think it's just a screen. Um, holosphere. So anything that Multi, happens, multi-tiered holosphere. Yeah, I think it's just a screen. And um, so anything that's happening up there is just part of the plot of the game. Um, you know, I don't... Yeah, sure. The you know we could be going to a solar minimum, but again, I think it's just the cycle. That's just part of the programming. The Planet X thing, sure, but again, I don't think that I don't think there's I don't think the, the planets work the way that they say that they work. Um, I think everything we see in the sky is fake. I think NASA's fake. I think it's all CGI. Um, so everything they tell us about all that shit, you know, I just I take it with a grain of salt. I mean, there's there's legitimacy, I think, to astrology because each planet or star or node definitely emits a magnetic energy. And, you know, this is why the moon causes ocean tides to rise and fall, the, why they call it the menstrual cycle, you know, lunacy, lunatics, you know, we're 80% salt water. I think that's why, like, when you're born, you know, the 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 pattern of stars and planets that you see in the sky is probably emitting a certain magnetic energy that then becomes an imprint on your brain and it becomes like your base personality. So I de- definitely think there's legitimacy legitimacy to that. The Mayans described everything they see in the sky as the complete mind of God, that each node was like a different aspect of personality. But if you combined all the nodes together, it was like a giant brain. Um, but no, I don't think it's like what they tell us. I don't think it's like galaxies and universes and stars and planets and everything orbiting and circling. I don't think it works like that. I think it's, if anything, I think that they could be portals to different dimensions. Um, that's kind of what I'm going with in the book is that what we see in the sky are actually portals, glimpses or holes into different dimensions, you know, Mars isn't a planet, it's just a different dimensional plane, you know, and that know that we see in the sky is just access to it. Um, well, if you see the videos with the Nikon P900s, they're just like, they're just like lights rotate, like... In- yeah, they're like just balls of light vibrating around. 
Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you go, okay, what's that then? That's yeah. certainly not what's coming out of NASA, but that, you know, those cameras are pretty good. They're pretty good when you're taking long range photography and stuff. So you sit them up in the sky and you're like, well, that's, you know, that's taking a decent picture. And it's like, okay, so yeah, it just makes you question everything, doesn't it? Yeah, we can get a, a perfect clear shot of Pluto, but we can't get a perfect clear shot of the space station. You know, like it's, mm. you know, it's, you, you know, yeah, things like that. Like that doesn't make any sense. Or how like, you know, Interstellar came out in 2014 and it showed what a black hole looked like. And then in 2018 or 19, NASA published the first official photo of a black hole and it's identical to the one in Interstellar. So it's like Interstellar figured out what black holes look like before NASA did. You know? Yeah. A little bit of predictive right. programming, me thinks. <laughs> yeah, I, I always thought that the shots from the moon just looked off. Like, for example, um, when they took pictures of Earth from the moon, Earth was always this, like, small globe, right? Shouldn't it be the opposite? Shouldn't Earth be this just, like, massive shit that fills the whole sky? Because, like, the moon's, like, right there. Right? But it's not. It's, like, tiny and off in the distance. And then, of course, it's all the shots of astronauts good. on the moon, the sky's just black. Yeah, it's just black. There's no stars. There's no nothing. Just black. Like, shouldn't you be seeing, like, space, like, unfiltered? Have you seen the Stanley Kubrick uh, confession video? Yeah, where he says he created the moon landing. <clears throat> yeah, is it definitely him? I can't tell. And obviously, it could be deep fake. It could be, uh, you know, clones. It could be anything. But it was interesting it's to listen to him. Yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers in that song Californication, they say space is made in a Hollywood basement. Just you like know? that. Yeah. Yeah, just rubbing, like that. Space is made in a Hollywood in, basement. Rubbing it in nice and good. Bastards. You know, now that I like, it's funny because like I was a big Metallica kid growing up and I've got some Metallica tracks on like my workout list and I started to actually listen to the words, like what they're saying. And it's actually really deep. Like, it's really, like, they're definitely saying shit in their songs. Uh, and I never picked that up as a kid. You know, I'm just listening to music, like, duh, 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 duh. But then now I'm, like, listening to words, and I'm like, holy shit, dude. These guys know. They fucking know. Yeah. It is interesting, isn't it, to revisit old kind of uh, content with a new kind of uh, perspective. It's like so many books you can read time and time again, and every time you read it, it you'll just read as a completely different book because of your advanced and kind of. Have you ever, have you ever read <laughs> Benny Shannon's Antipodes of the Mind? No, but uh, great read. I've, I've got that on my list of books I need to like. I've got a list of like endless books I need to get, and that's definitely one of them. Oh, yes, yeah, Cracker. I highly recommend that. Awesome. Bro, it's been an absolute pleasure, as always. And, yeah, I think we'll get right into it because he is very much, as you know, he's into everything. He's into all of it. So it'll be interesting to get all three of us. I think so, brother. I think so. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, bro. Enjoy the rest of your evening, yeah? I'll speak cool, to you. man. All right. Always a pleasure. Big love, brother. Yeah, take it easy. Take care, buddy.